Okay, so uh, yesterday we discussed some things about scanning. So, like, yes. what is network scanning? What are our object objectives, and how many there are how many types of ports, and how many ports are there? And so yes. today we are going to uh, first we are going to discuss about the OSI models because for networking it is like quite important. Okay. Yeah. So, where OSI model, so okay, yeah. Yes. So, as you can see, there are seven OSI models. So, yes. Uh, first one is the data link network content and application. So, let's start from the application. Okay. Application there, uh, what application there is all the uh, app uh, like email application all the applications that you use that we use on our desktop so like okay. yeah email application or uh, like any uh, ftp client or any http based application any like ms office or these are yes. these options that we use on our system yes yeah. application okay Eddie, what about antivirus it's also application uh, isn't it Yes, it is also application. So all the okay. applications that okay. come, uh, all the application comes under this so application layer. Because whenever okay. we try to send information, we yes. need an interface. So the application layer will give us the interface. So okay. if I want to send you an, if I want to send you an email, I can use the email service in my system. So okay. I can use this mail app and I can yes. send you email. So yes. this is an app. Uh, for communication purpose, whenever we yeah. try to communicate, so yeah, uh, all the application comes under this. So, okay. like, uh, which type of applications like DNS, uh, the World Wide Web, HTTP, yeah. peer to peer email, yeah, telnet, FTP, so, so all these come application layer and okay. presentation layer. So, the work of presentation layer is to uh. What presentation layer does is uh, it uh, provides us document in a human readable format. So, like if there mm. is a if I if, if some if a person send you MP3 format, yes, uh, MP3 MP3 song. So the extension of that uh, five ab dot MP3. So it tells us the presentation layer tells us that where to open the file and how to open the file. So if yes. I send you dot MP3 file. And if you try to open this with uh, an image viewer, if you try to try to open it with a text editor, it's That's not right. going to work. So yes. presentation layer helps us to uh, describe us uh, to help us to open any file to read any file in a human readable language or human readable format. And it tells okay. us that which tool, which app, which application can we use to read particular information. So if it's a .mp4. Then I, I need to open VLC or any video player. If it's okay. a document, if it's document, then I need to open a, a, any document file like MS Office or any yes. document. If it's HTML, then I need to open a web browser or any yes. text editor to see the HTML coding. So it tells mm -hmm. us. And also, data encryption and decryption occurs in this layer. So, what data encryption and decryption means? So, whenever we encrypt any data, so if we, yes. uh, we change the data from the size normal print text. Yes. So if this is the data, hi, how are you? If somebody sends, and if we if this is the print text message. Yes. So this, this is the print text. And if uh, you talk about uh, encryption, so this is how it will look after the encryption. OK. OK. Yeah. So what this layer does, so the work of this layer is to provide us information in human readable language. So what, so the information will, so the person send us information, mm -hmm. he typed this and using a certain algorithm, Yes. Uh, the algorithm converts this message into this. Okay. And when we receive this, when we receive this, then the presentation layer, what it do, the presentation layer will convert this and uh, and it will decube this so okay it it will take this 
and it will decrypt this so okay. it will decrypt right. yeah. and it will show us like this how, how are you doing yeah so so this is called encryption and decryption and okay. this all, all the fun functionality occurs in this layer presentation layer okay so and then uh, if we talk about session layer so what session layer does is session layer provides a it, it, it will establish a session so suppose whenever we are communicating so if mm -hmm. currently now we are communicating through zoho meeting okay yes so what session layer will does so uh, uh, till the time we are communicating till the time we are uh, connecting to each other Yes. Uh, there is a session has been established between uh, my, my browser and uh, yes. between uh, your uh, and between your browser. Yeah. Yes. So a session has been established, and it will not be disconnected yes. until we stop talking. So if I close this app in and if I remove you, then yes. the session will be broken. The session will be terminated. Of course. Yes. But till the time, till the time we are communicating with each other, the session will remain active. So its duty is to whenever we send any message, the message will be sent, and it will and it will establish a connection to the destination, and till the time the message has arrived. So if if I am sending you an email, so when the email has been ar arrived to the destination, so when the email has been sent to the uh, system, and that then that then the goal of this session has been finished. So. currently we are communicating then it is active but if we want to do any a small thing so if i if i yes. want to send you any message if i uh, want to call you over the internet yes or if i want to send you any so till the time the commun the packet has been sent to the destination it will remain active and as soon as the packet reaches you so if i send you email like this is the link of my of uh, our recording so from the time i click sent a button okay so from the time i click sent button from my email yes. to the time the email has been uh, received in your mailbox yes. the session will be remain active and once the wow. message has been once the message has been received by received in your email box then the session will be terminated yes. so the wow. work of this to establish session uh, uh, until it Uh, disconnected. So while the, while the communication happens, it will remain established, and as soon as the communication ends, it will terminate. Okay. So, uh, transport layer. If you talk about transport layer, so two most important protocols works in this. So, uh, TCP and UDP. These are the two most popular uh, uh, protocols which uh, which runs on this proto uh, which runs on this layer. So. what transport layer does it, it will distribute uh data into multiple segments so in this way uh, segmentation happens so segmentation so what it is going to do it will if uh let me show you so if this is the data yes then it will take this data and it will do segmentation means it will divide those data mm. into multiple into multiple segment okay and let at this a name like uh, this is one and this is this is two this is mm. three This is for so it will do that like, and in and it will send it forward. Okay. So that if so why it do it does that so if if the data is large if the data is like this and if somehow the packet loss if somehow it it cannot be able to arrive at the destination then the whole data will be lost. So yes. If any any error occurred then the whole data will be lost and the person has to send the whole data again. but if he but mm -hmm. the if the person uh, divides this into multiple segments then suppose if this packet is this if this segment is lost and every other segment has been sent then yeah. this person, then the, the sender will only send this so he does the sender doesn't have to send the whole whole message 
it will only send this part because this part is missing yes so this is why it does the segmentation this is why it divides the oh, okay message into multiple segment yeah and uh, let's talk about network so network is uh, what network here does it's the routing of the network so whenever we send message so from here we type from here it will be encrypted here the session has been established and here mm -hmm. it will divide into multiple packets and when it reach here so what network yeah. network will do network here will first convert these uh, segments into packets oh yeah network here will convert segments into packets and it will route the traffic so it of the traffic so it will decide so the network layer will decide network layer will decide which path to choose which part and through which path i have to send this data so yeah. the network decide so if you have if you want to go there so you have many option you can go through you can go by walking uh, it will take you much time you can go by bus you uh, can go by train you can yes. go by plane or helicopter so it will route the traffic so it uh, by default what router does uh, it will choose the best possible path so the path which mm. so we can see data fastest okay so it will choose the best path best possible path so if you want to reach anywhere for the meeting and then you can if if i you will calculate that if it will calculate that if if i go by train it will mm -hmm. take me 10 hours and if i go by train it will take me one hour so, yeah. it, so it will choose to go with train because train will take less time to yes you know yeah so if here we are going to talk about now data linkage yes so what data linkage does is in this data linkage we do error correction and detection okay so okay. as i was talking about the so why i was talking about this that uh, it will do the segmentation in transport layer it will yeah. divide so yeah. in this uh, segment in this data linkage it will check whether the all the segments or or, or the packets mm. that have been converted is there is there any error so if there is any error it will ask the sender to resend that particular packet so this is wow, why okay. it, uh, it do it will do error correction and detection so it will check that if this is this this, this is the information then if all the informations are being sent if there yes. is any error so it will check all those things okay so in and also in uh, data in uh, the data will be converted from packet to bytes okay to bytes uh, frame yeah. sorry frame frames sorry frames okay so packet will be converted from frames from uh, packets to frame okay. it will convert converted into frames okay and then it will go to after checking everything is fine all data has been fined then it will send to physical layer and physical layer mm. are like all the wires like rj45 ethernet cable yes. like all these wires as you as you can see so these are physical oh, these are these runs on the physical layer so these what these layer will do these layer will send the message transmit the message into yes. bits and bytes so from frames in this layer data will be converted from frames to bits and it and depends on the uh, communication method so if it's like uh, ethernet cable then it will send into like a uh, analog signal it will, or it will send it to like uh, zero in zero and one form so yes if and it's like coaxial cable then it will send it to light pulses so depends on the wire depends on the medium it will convert this in all the frames into bits and it will send the data okay through the wires so Okay. within the wire the data will be sent so 
this is the whole uh, OSI model, OSI is here. So, okay, no worries. And if we, OSI, so, and if we talk about TCP IP, so what is the difference between OSI and TCP? So, okay. TCP IP, so if we look at this, so, as you can see, it has seven layers, and I told you TCP IP, oh. somewhere you will find four, sometimes you will find four, oh. Sometimes you, you will find five years. So here, mm. the usually people uh, keep uh, think uh, take this as four four layers. So okay. what uh, TCP/IP is? So the application layer is similar yes. like this. So it is also application. It is also application. And in the transport layer, so in yeah. the application layer, it will it has only application layer, and it in this application layer. Application mm -hmm. presentation and session will come. So these oh. three layers will come into this in this one layer. TCP. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the transport layer, transport layer is same. One layer, one layer. Yeah. And in this internet layer, so the network layer is called internet layer. Mm -hmm. So this is same. Yeah. Okay. And the network and the network access layer will contain these two data link okay. and physical. Physical. Okay. So, so the network will contain these two and the application will contain these three oh, okay. all the all the remaining two will be same yeah. the transport and internet layer. okay so it will just concise the all the models so here all the, all the process procedure will be same but yes. but the thing is it has seven it has four so it adds all these three layers and this network access will add all these two layers physically yeah. So it combines two layers, three layers into one. Okay, so yes. that's the so that's the difference. It does make and, sense. Uh, if we, yeah. yeah, and so if you have any doubt, tell us here. No, no, all good. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So thank you. Yeah. Now let's talk about the difference between uh, TCP and okay. UDP. So TCP and UDP are the two most uh, important protocol. So which runs on transport layer. So as I was talking about, oh, this yes. was the transport layer. So so uh, TCP and UDP these runs on here. And let's see the difference between the two. So. What TCP is? TCP stands for uh, Transmission Control Protocol. So it stands for okay. Transmission Control Protocol, and UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol. So what is the difference between these two? So TCP okay. is reliable. So, and UDP is unreliable. So, what is reliable means it will do error correction and uh, detection, and if it found any error, it will resend it. So, and TCP is unreliable. So, it doesn't do error correction and detection, and if any packet is lost, it will not uh, ask to resend the data. So, it will send oh, okay. as it is. So, it is connection oriented. So, until the data has been sent, to the receiver, it will be established and it is connectionless. So, what connectionless means that it will not care about the data, whether the data yes. has sent or not, it, it doesn't care. So, mm. and uh, if it is a segment trans transmission and flow control, so if there is any error in a segment, so as you know, uh, segmentation done under the transport layer in the fourth layer, yeah. and TCP runs in fourth layer. So it will do the segment retransmission. So if any segment is not be able to send the data, it will ask to resend, and it will do flow control. So what flow control is? If imagine if I am sending you one glass, I, I will throwing one glass at you. Then you will easily catch one glass. But if I throw ten glass to you, yeah. will you able to catch all those ten glasses? No, no, the same no. You will catch one or two, and all the all the other classes will be broke. Yes. So, flow con so what flow control means? It will make sure that it if the sender is sending data at the speed of one Mbps, 
then it will make sure that the user will receive at the speed of 1 mbps so if the user has less speed in receiving then yeah. it will send according to the user so if the if the receiver is not be able to receive data much faster then it then it will not it will not go go to send the data faster Fast. it will oh. send, it, it will send, it yeah it will send data according to the receiver's no. uh, specific uh, receiver's need so if oh. he is not be able to catch 10 balls i am not going to throw 10 balls if wow. he is able to catch only two balls at a time the it will send only two balls at a time okay. so that he can keep all the data otherwise if the capacity of the receiver is only 2 mbps and i am sending data at the speed of 10 mbps then yeah. there will be loss of data it is because it is not be able to catch all those catch all those data so it will lose all those data yeah so but udp doesn't do this so it will just send it will send just wow. it, it will just throw all the data that it doesn't here care. is your data here is your data and i don't care about you so i don't care if it reaches to you or it not reaches to you my job is to send you the data and take all this and just lazy yeah, udp so, very lazy yeah yeah and uh, segmentation seg and segment sequencing so when as i told you when it does the segmentation it will ra rank them like one two three four yeah. and after that data has been sent so it doesn't mean that if this is one then this this has to go first this is second this has to go first this is third this has to it doesn't mean so this this packet might send first this packet might send at second this might send at third so but after that packet all the segments has been reached to the, to the destination it will yeah. rearrange itself based on the sequence so it will okay. re rearrange it itself so wow. that's the sequence but udp doesn't do that so it doesn't mm. care so how the data is sent i will give you a, a, a example of this uh, okay. in a moment so and acknowledgement so it will acknowledge the so when i send any data then the receiver will do acknowledgement that okay i have received this data so if i say hello to you you will say hello to me you acknowledge that okay yes. i am you said you are telling me hello then i am okay i am also telling you hello hi so it will acknowledge but mm. it doesn't do anything <laughs> no acknowledgement okay yeah the, the difference between these two is that tcp is very slow and udp is very fast oh, so okay. whenever we need when whenever we need any pro, uh, so where UDP uses UDP has been used in a live streaming because in live streaming we have to send the data fast. So where, yeah. whenever there is a need where we have to send the data fast, then we will mm. always use UDP. So although it has it doesn't do anything, a lot of yeah. drawback, but it is it is very fast, and okay. that is why uh, it doesn't do all these things. It doesn't check all these things because it doesn't have it time. It is fast. It, it 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 doesn't have time to check. So it mm. takes it it it, ta it takes time to. Check check all these things and it's do all those segment sequencing and it will check everything so it is very slow so obviously oh, okay. it will, if, do, if it do it's going to do all the check and all the sequencing and acknowledgement then it, it will be slow but it doesn't yeah. check anything it just it ha uh, ask me anyway this one like when you have a man in the middle like a man in the middle attack will be easier yeah. for them to attack udp than the tcp yeah uh or oh, it doesn't matter in, in it really doesn't matter so usually oh, okay, what okay. Uh, we, we do usually we uh, uh, like target tcp protocol because oh okay on, uh, yeah so on tcp uh, protocol you do this so oh okay 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 because it has all the segment and packets and acknowledgement and everything else. so udp okay. is not being used so most of the services uses TCP, tcp but on, yeah. we only use uh, udp for uh, live streaming and some other okay. purposes so yeah uh, oh, and I, you. I, you. I, I will i will tell you which port and which service uses tcp which service okay. uses udp in no the lecture so yeah okay no worries but keep this in mind that mostly uh, the, we use TCP. tcp okay yeah so i'd like to ask you eddie do you have a background in network yeah have you done uh, like networking I, I I no no I don't. That is wow. why I am not. Uh, to be honest, I am not very good in really? this because 
yeah, I'm not. And I listen to, <laughs> I, I listen to you. I, I, you know, something yeah. I do listen to. You, I was like, wow, you know, a lot, like a lot, a lot in networking. Uh, so, because we have to like, wow. I know, like, uh, uh, about basics. So I, I know okay. like how these things work. But if we go into much deeper, then it will yeah. be like difficult. So really. Because, uh, yeah. So, what <laughs> there is some uh, depends on the need. So, if like uh, I my knowledge is deep, uh, based on the uh, requirement and in hacking. So, how, okay. how I know that much that like if uh, there is a requirement of something in networking, then I know that. But I don't mm. uh, like know the full. Uh, okay. Full, okay. Uh, Oh, I don't know, have the whole knowledge or like. Okay, so with that one, you have to go uh, to like university. Ex, ex, you have to have a bachelor, ex, bachelor degree in expert. that. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. You can. Uh, there is a certification like. Uh, For that, okay. Yeah. So there is. A oh, hopefully, one day I will look into that. I one. don't want to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Have you heard about network plus or security plus? So this is a. a there is an organization called Comshia. Which oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, so yeah, I've seen it so before. Can, sure, yeah. like, oh, so I have done uh, like I have learned networking, but I don't have any certification. So I am not a wow. very expert level. I have no. learned, but I am not on an expert level. So you I only know. Well. Yeah. The thing I need to know the things that thing I need to know that in hacking how yes. uh, how things work. I know I know, the, oh, I know okay. those things, but oh, okay, I'm not okay. a pro because my my name. <laughs> Thing is, our main thing is hacking, so yes, we are yes. specialist in that. So network. Now you doing very well. Zone. You doing very well. So, I think I'll be doing the Comshia in in, in uh, maybe not now. I've already registered yeah. for that. Okay, so the thing is, yeah. uh, to be a very good in this, then you have to know, like, if, if it doesn't matter that you have taken certification or not, but you have to know uh, these things. How yeah, exactly. uh, things works in the back background how packets are sent and yes. how packets are received and how communication has been made so okay yeah. okay you oh, can nice. learn Thanks from well. online, online you can learn from youtube also so yes we don't because we don't need to like deep dive into the network <laughs> we only have to we only have to touch from the above so like yeah because our main goal is to hack something our main goal yeah. is to just know how, how the things work works so, yeah yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Okay. But always, but uh, for self satisfaction and for so like self improvement, you can always choose the and any path. You can always choose to do something, okay. some certification or some course. So, yeah. Yeah. No, worries. thank uh, you so much. Okay. Uh, I where were we? Okay, so TCP UDP. So yeah, let me tell you about this segment okay. sequencing. So okay. how this works? So. Imagine this is the sender and this is the receiver. So mm -hmm. okay. So if I am sending this a uh, message like. Hi man. How are you? And what TCP will do? Mm -hmm. TCP will do the se sequencing. So it's number in them. So it will uh -huh. assign. So it, it's going to do like this. Okay. Paint is like very so what it's going to do, it's going to assign high one by five. Yeah. How it is going to assign it is to going to do the sequencing. So two by five. Okay. Uh, three by five. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So, four by five. 
and the question so pi by five so it will do the sequencing like this and yes. it doesn't matter the message has to send like this on one by five two so imagine if the message has been received like this <laughs> you <laughs> are how hi uh, hi and question mark so imagine this is the this is what receiver receive okay yeah. so now after uh, reaching at the destination because mm -hmm. it knows the sequence so this is this was 4 by 5 r was 3 by 5 and how was 2 by 5 i was 1 by 5 yes and this was 5 by 5 so it knows the sequence so now it is going to rearrange it so oh. it will put it will put hi because this is 1 by 5 so this will come first yeah and this is the second and this is 2 by 5 hi how are you so it will rearrange this based yeah. on the sequencing so in tcp this is how we send the message but in udp if yes. it's sent like this if oh the same so if this if it send like this you are i how it doesn't care <laughs> the, oh. it, it doesn't care how the message sent so it, it will yeah. leave it it will leave it like that so yeah you know, like, this was the whole difference okay, between thanks. TCP and UDP. And uh, now let's. So. Okay, so TCP header, and so let's just talk about the headers. Okay. Of. TCP and UDP header. So whenever we send any packet, so if if this is the packet, then in the beginning of the packet there will be a header file. What header file do? Header file will contain the source IP, destination okay. IP, source MAC destination. So the what header file will, it will contain source IP so from where the message is coming yeah. and destination so where it has to go yep yeah, source, source MAC address yeah. destination MAC and the data what data is being sent so okay. the header file the first the first packet will always be the header and it will contain these information so oh, okay. let's see what's inside a TCP header and what is inside a UDP header. So okay. There are five uh, five uh, segments in like uh, TCP. So one, two, three, four, five, and each uh, line is of thirty-two bytes. So thirty-two this, thirty-two this, thirty-two this, thirty-two this, thirty-two. So thirty-two okay. bits. And total they are of 20 bytes, so 32 bits. So uh, one 8 bit equals to one byte. So uh, total they are of 30, 20 bytes. So 32 bit, 32 bit, 32 bit, 32 bit, 32 bit. And uh, if we talk about the first layer, the first line. Yeah. So in the first layer, it will contain the source port number and the destination port number. So from which port number the message has been sent, and through which port we, uh, the message has to be received. So okay. it will be listed here and to be sequence number. So what is the sequence number? The thing I told you about one by five, two by five, three by five. Yes. So that that will that will be the sequence number. Mm. And we are going to okay. So okay okay. So the sequence number and acknowledgement number. Uh, we are going to talk about these two things so that sequence okay. so uh, sorry for that and uh, what these two are and mm -hmm. we are going to talk about uh, later when we talk uh, uh, three way handshake so how okay. this number are generated and how, how this generated how this generated we are going to talk about in a moment so okay then there will be four bit header length 
so it will give you a length so the maximum length the maximum limit of bytes the length of the header and this will be reserved so for any other emergency for any other purposes this, this is reserved and these and tcp has six flags so urge ek push reset sin and fin so what are these flags Yeah. we are going to talk about in another topic so in a moment okay. we are going to talk about and 60 16 bit window size so what window size so maximum limit of bytes that a receiver can accept at the particular moment so this window size will determine the maximum level the, the maximum limit of bytes which the which the receiver can accept so it it will display here and it will and there will be a tcp checksum So what a checksum mm. is? A checksum will uniquely identify each packet. So each header will have a unique checksum through which mm-hmm. it will identify it will identify the packet. So if the checksums are same, then because they are uniquely generated, so they cannot be same. But in case if they are same, then means there is some problem. So there yep. is some error. So it will on it will always assign a 16 bit checksum. to okay. uniquely distinguish from other packets so it can recognize which packet is this which packet is this so and 16 bit urgent pointer so 16 bit pointer is only valid when the this urge flag is one so what is this and what is this we are going to talk about in it okay and these are off and these are for optional so the main thing is these five layers and these two are optional so this is the whole uh, tcp packet tcp header so it has a lot of things but if we talk about udp header so it is very simple so the source oh, yeah. port destination port the length of the header yes. and the checksum so checksum to uniquely identify this okay so, uh, let, let me talk to make this more okay checksum so to maintain the data integrity as i told you in the introduction model so we yeah. assign some random value so if the value got changed then we get to know that uh, there is some tampering of data or there is some error in the data yeah. so if we talk about this so as you can see this has this called a checksum so this is the original linux checksum so if any person compromise the kali kali linux a website kali yes. kali linux database and if he change the installation file to some other operating system which he has developed and it yeah. will upload here then mm-hmm. then what we can do we will not be able to identify which operating system is of kali and which is attacker's operating system mm. based on this checksum if the attacker changes the operating system then value will so what we are, we, we can do there are many softwares which you can use you just get the software so you have to upload the any file and the file okay. will generate a random checksum so as you can see they are using short 256 so for online we can do wow we can check so short 256 checksum so you can check using this so here you have to drop the file and it will give you the checksum so if i mm. uploaded if i upload any file so if i upload this image the certificate so it will give okay. me checksum if if there is any other uh, if the person hacks my computer and he change the image and or he binds the any virus in my image then how do i get to know the my original if i compare this original value to the yes. uh, altered version or the modified version of my image then this value will be different so this is the original value and if a hacker you will be different so this will be some different thing this oh, way okay. i get to know that somebody has time time but the repo is same they use the udp is just checksum tcp uses uses checksum to uniquely identify each packet so okay. this is the awesome. work of checksum so okay yeah
and when you, this is the official file in SXM and when I upload this file and I upload this file then it will generate similar checksum like this if the checksum is different than this then it means this is not the original Gaia Unix operating system oh, so okay. this is how we get yeah. so if we upload this and if the checksum is and this is not the original operating system we are showing in our system so mm. this is to uniquely 